those of you who have looked at any of my videos over time, especially those where I'm working at this workspace here, will go, oh no, not another one of those workbench videos. They're so dark and darn near impossible to see anything at. Well, let's continue the process of changing that and building some studio lights. There's a blueprint studio light, small base plate. So this is the backing plate for the lights and they are going to measure 8 by 12 inches. It's time to start the process of getting the studio lights built. Last video it was simply a case of showing me designing the end plates for the studio lights on FreeCAD. And so all you really saw was an awful lot of this kind of thing. Just cutting holes with FreeCAD, making shapes, etc. Till I wound up with something that looked roughly like that. Well, today I am actually going... to start measuring parts. Now I've been to a friend's metalworking shop and we cut out this Aluminum, or if you're from the British Isles, aluminium. I cut this out with his skill saw and a blade meant to cut metal. Now this is roughly one eighth of an inch thick, and I scrounged this, scrounged this up at the grandson of a friend's place, and he graciously allowed me to take some of his offcuts. And I looked at it and said, those are off cuts? Holy cow. And so anyway, if you're fortunate enough to know somebody that owns an aluminum boat building business and will allow you to scrounge through their off cuts, well, there you go. If not, well, you're going to have to hit someplace up and pay some fairly premium prices for the aluminum. So let's get started. Let's get started. Don't mind my shaky hands. I will do my best to minimize that and I will probably just um, start off and then I'll accelerate this because I'm certain that you really don't want to see me measure and stuff for half an hour. I'm going to try and keep the video, each video that is, under half an hour. So let's go.
Okay, that's that marked now. Need to get it all to the shop. There's going to be five of them and get it drilled. But before I go to the shop, let me show you the model I came up with so you can have at least some idea of what's being made. So this is roughly what the finished product is going to look like here. Um, you'll see in the end plate that I've made a minor change, and it's simply for aesthetics. I have made cutout for the knobs one big cutout instead of three smaller ones. There was no reason for this other than simply I decided to change my mind and do it that way. So what we've just worked on is this under here with uh, marking the holes that are going to be drilled. Some of them will be tapped. I haven't fully decided how I'm even going to mark the mount this thing yet. But one step at a time, let's just get to uh, the CNC machine and get these end plates cut out, cut out and then get these bottom plates drilled. All right. I think that's going to be enough for this video. I'm not sure how long it's going to come out when edited, but I don't really want to go longer than half an hour. See ya. Back from the shop. Let's see what we accomplished. Pieces cut the size, more or less. Holes drilled. Next step, got some holes to tap. These bigger ones here are going to be tapped. And you'll see what's coming in the next video because this one is already stretched past the 20 minute mark and I don't want to bore you too much. You were probably already bored by the first couple of minutes. So we'll see ya. Ciao.